computer. Hey, buddy, you want to step away from there? Does the drone talk? Excuse me, I asked you to leave that alone. Drone, are you talking to me? How are you doing that? Oh, God, it's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Unforeseen Incidents. I'm your host, the bird. Notice Falcon apparently in the library as well. Hanging out with a cutie Trish here, who apparently is to date sketchy Ricardo, who is probably the reason why Amber Smith went missing, who was part of the recruitment thing for the entire cult thing, which kind of dispersed the entire virus all over Yelltown and this entire conspiracy thing we're kind of in the middle of. Did you catch all that? Good. I'm glad you did. <laughs> so here's what I did off camera. I knew I had some information gathering ahead of me, so I decided to do that off camera. Now, the big important point here is what Hallowell told us last episode when she gave me this here. This here. Uh, apparently, when um, Senior Patrick Rancho passed away, there was plans to build some sort of thing, some sort of warehouse or something or the other. I forgot what it was already, but it wasn't... That's, that's not what I wanted to do. Get, get out. Get out from there. Um, it wasn't built. So, why wasn't it built? Well, I started doing some information gathering, and obviously, if we look at these pictures here, which are very important as well, this here is the, uh, according to the IMDb thing here, and IMD, that's the Internet Movie Database, I'm sorry, <laughs> IMB, whatever the hell this computer here is called, um, there's some sort of um, Logan D. Hauling thing, which was where the original warehouse was placed at, but then it suddenly disappeared. So we're looking for some sort of weird change in the climate and the environment. So from that, we have this here. And what is that? Well, remember, that's the coffee shop. Logan D. Hollage, which is in the picture. Same location. The problem is that we have a shift in company name. So the Logan D. Hollage is there. And suddenly, after, remember, 92 is when Senior passed away. So suddenly, there was supposed to be something built and it wasn't. Logan D. Hollage just went poof. 95 rolls around and suddenly, Bill Capo out of nowhere. I found another address that might lead us to that RHC warehouse. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, that's the warehouse district. Yes, look, it's still there. You did it, Harper. Do you want to get down there and, um, journalize? I think I can find the time. Oh, color me surprised. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it's definitely the building from the newspaper. You did good finding it. I'm impressed. Thanks. I'll try to get us in. And I'll try not to notice you committing criminal trespass and burglary. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, at least Hella was proud of me that I figured it out. I hope you guys are proud of me, too. G give me a good old good job Falcon in the comments. Just to just make my self-esteem as a detective feel really good. You guys know that I wanted to be a detective as a little young lad? I just wanted to be like into like criminal justice and then eventually I turned into a criminal myself so it never really worked out. No, I'm not a criminal, but you know. Procrastination <laughs> happened and suddenly I was kind of like, eh, I'll get into it later. And later never really came because that's what procrastinating is all about. Yep, I recognize that logo. Sure do. Okay, so we have that. I can talk to Hellowell. We have an entrance. We have apparently a note and the warehouse. What are you expecting to find in here? I don't know. But I pulled the plans for every single RHC site. This is the only one that doesn't appear on their records. Seems like a good place to keep secrets, right? What's this? Hmm. Unsuccessful delivery? Mm-hmm. That could be intriguing. Let's see here. Hey! That kind of looks like that code on Jervis's photo. Um... Burard. Okay. Um, something something PN 23. Ugh. Well, if it is, um, can I use my magnifying glass here? No. Can I combine them? That doesn't need magnifying. Are you sure about that? I mean, it looks fairly faded out. I guess it doesn't work. Okay, hey, um, do you want this? Hmm, that doesn't make sense to me. Really? You want her to look at it? Just tell her to look at it. I can't make those things work. She might have a different perspective, dog. Fine. Okay, so we have a node. It'd be too much to hope they left it open. <laughs> you know, just a, a top secret 
facility left wide open. It'd be too much to hope they left it open. Okay, so how do we crack you open? Let's find out on my tools over here. So how would I... Assuming I had a criminal background, how would I get this bad boy open? Something tells me we can't just... Screwdrive the... The handle away. What if you jam the knife in there and like... Jimmy? Rustle your jimmies a little bit? Because he does it. Yes! Harper, this is a felony. Let's go inside. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're worried about it. It is actually um, breaking and entering, if you want to know. Again, criminal justice. Wow. I studied I it for a while. That crappy warehouse exterior concealed. A crappy warehouse interior? I thought RHC was some massive international corporation. How can this be the head office? Hmm. It's a front. That's why they put me on a telephone merry-go-round. RHC doesn't have a head office. But how can that be? Who planned the attacks? Where's that rancho guy? I don't know who's pulling the strings, but something tells me it's not Patrick Rancho. Let's look around. Ah, so Patrick Rancho is a stooge. All right. What do you make of this place? I don't know what I was expecting, but not this. This confirms our worst fears about RHC. Someone somewhere is pulling the strings. Yeah, we kind of gathered that. What's this? The lights make it look like a TV studio. I recognize it. This is where Patrick Rancho used to do press conferences and satellite interviews. Patrick Rancho was part of an elaborately detailed facade. This is crazy! It actually is kind of crazy. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is where they staged the moon landing. Huh? Huh? Because we never really landed on the moon, did we? Oh, conspiracy theories. I love them. I love them. Do I believe in conspiracy theories for the most part? No. I love reading about them, though. Conspiracy theories to me are like uh, almost a real-life version of sci-fi. Anything in there? Yes. I found a pen. It's from the Port Nicholas Sailboat Marina. Hey! Another location. The mar Oh, sorry. Oh, I, I, I thought I had to click out of the map. What'd you say? It didn't seem really important. I think she just said the marina. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I thought I had to click out of the map. Um, anything else? There's nothing left in the desk. Nothing interesting left in here. Okay, let's see this pen. It's a pen from the Port Nicola Sailboat Marina. Alright. Do you want to, like, repeat what you might have probably said hello? I'd prefer to leave my mark by bringing whoever was responsible for Yelltown to justice. Then, and only then, will I come back and write Harper rules on everything. But I was pointing at Halloway, gonna write on her? It's weird. Okay, so I think we got everything, right? Uh... Anything here I can mess around with? Not really. Can we learn anything useful here? Can we prove RHC is a front? My pictures will help tell the story, but there's no proof here. What about the pen I found? From the marina? It's a slender lead, but it's all we have. But it's a lead. So, can we go? Hello, well. I think I've seen enough. Me too. The RHCHQ is an empty warehouse. The real power, the people behind Yelltown, they're somewhere else. And we're going to find them, pricks. Yeah. Damn right we are. Well, um, that puts us in a really precarious situation. Well, not really. We have two brand new locations we haven't really searched, right? And the other thing that I mentioned that I haven't done yet is, in a way, it's kind of really... Oh, that, that, that thing that he mentioned about the code. Hold up, hold up. So... Hey, that kind of looks like that. Yeah, yeah, I want to see it. Unfortunately, can't really make it out, but something something PN and like maybe five digits. So if we compare that to... Something something PN, five digits. I want to go back to Dockside, though, because we still, in a way, have a picture of uh, Leroy Jenkins' um, humble abode here, right? This, uh, that's the junkyard. And we know Homeboy's here, and he's a little bit, you know, he misses home, which is respectable. But when you, everybody in that town died except you, I'd figure you have, like, bigger things to worry about than you, you're missing home. But hey, what do I know? So Leroy, I, I got this. I'm not sure this will work out for you. Hey, Leroy, guess what? I've got a photo of your junkyard. Well, it's a negative, actually. But I bet you could get it blown up to the size of a billboard if you wanted. What? 
Hop, that's... that's... Do you think I can have it? Sure. You know I'm always ready to help a buddy. But... Will you lend me that harbor pass of yours for a moment in exchange? For a photo of my junkyard? I'd do anything, Hop. But bring it back, will ya? I need it tomorrow. Uh, of course. Oh, okay, see, I wasn't expecting that to happen. But, um, he did mention the last conversation that... He did mention the harbor pass. Right? I think he mentioned that in a harbor pass. So, he gave me... A harp? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second here, harbor... Oh, is it... Okay, hold up, hold up. I think it might be here, right? Ah, okay, hold up. I think we're about to get in somewhere we probably shouldn't be, but hey. Oh, boyos, let's get in there. Well, we still have the dock and the beach to... Or not the dock, but the marina and the beach to investigate. But hey, we found yet another location to investigate here. Meanwhile, is that a freaking drone? Dude, that's a drone. Yo, what is a drone doing here? Drone? I think it might be really... Is this where, like, Amazon does all of its shipments from? It must be. Like, it's putting it away in the box of... Oh, God, okay. What are you... You're not infecting that, are you? <laughs> no, they can't be doing that in the open. It's silly. Computer. Hey, buddy, you want to step away from there? Does the drone talk? Excuse me, I asked you to leave that alone. Drone, are you talking to me? How are you doing that? Oh, God, it's a guy. <laughs> okay, well, that makes more sense. I, I didn't see somebody there beforehand. I thought the freaking drone was talking to me and sounded like a legit human. It's kind of weird. Okay, so the guy doesn't want me to mess around with that. What the hell is this? Notice. What do we got here? I don't know. Location codes, Occutan, Baron Fields, Chester, Dunsville. Port Irwin, Formosa. Okay. Um, shipment company codes. Okay. Well, we have that. Stop it. Stop it. These shipping containers are pretty huge. It won't be long before they're all rented out as studio apartments to vegan banjo players and whatnot. <laughs> Aren't these, like, you know, almost accommodable to, like, those really small Japanese, like, apartments that I've seen? Like, I'm not sure if it's, like, I don't think, I'm not sure if it's common or something, but I've seen, like, things on television where they show, like, these, like, small, like, really compact apartments for in Japan. And they're, like, literally, like, the size of that. Like, they're just really compact. In a way, like, it's very obviously encumbering in a way. It's just very claustrophobic, I would say, so you'd have to not be claustrophobic. But in a way, I saw it, it seemed very endearing. Look at the size of these things. It's more like skyscrapers than ships. I didn't know they were using drones here. I mean, that thing is totally going to rise up and destroy humanity. Well, look how cool it is. That's true. That's how Skynet started. This is one of those machines from 80s music videos. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello, son. You're one of the new hands? Uh, yep. That's right. Well, my shift's nearly over. The next guy will have to show you the ropes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I work here. Sure. Um, what are you doing here? What are you doing there? It's the new regulations. All the consignments have to be sterilized when they pass through the harbor. The virus, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, so you're not infecting stuff. You're... <laughs> I guess, um, sterilizing them. I guess that would make sense. Sorry, my conspiracy mind went a little bit abroad on that one. So that machine does the sterilizing? That's what they tell me. I'm just here to make sure the gremlins and the machines don't miss any consignments out. It's highly stimulating work. You ever find anything weird in the deliveries? Like body parts or giant spiders? Son, working here may not be the thrill ride you are expecting. I don't have time to talk you through everything. But yeah, we get giant spiders. Cool. Duh, not cool. What do the codes on the packages mean? They're the consignment IDs. The first three digits refer to the courier company, the next four refer to the port of origin and the destination, and finally there's the unique five-digit reference code. <gasps> oh! Okay, that's actually very important information. I just got this unsuccessful delivery note. Apparently the delivery got returned here to the docks. Can your drone call up any package? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I see what's happening here. You think you could start taking liberties first day on the job? Hey, sorry, man. I just want to learn more about how the machine works. Oh, yeah? 
Can you tell me more about how the drone works? Uh, well, yes, it can bring up a specific package, as long as you have the ID. So how might one select a specific package, in theory? Jesus Christ, son, do you think you're being subtle? Okay, if you stop interrupting me, you can call up your damn package. Just punch the ID into the panel and hit the green button. And do not tell any of your rustabout buddies I cut you a break. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Um, that's the team. Don't really think I care about that. So, okay, this was very important. Remind me. <sighs> the, the first three digits, three digits refer to courier, the next four refer to the port of origin and the destination. And finally, the... Okay, so... I better go. Mm. Okay, let, let's see. So if we look at this here, um... We can't hey. really see. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. We can't really see it too clearly, right? Um, as a matter of fact, I really can't see it clearly at all. But we have, for a fact at least, PN. So that would be. Um, let's see. I think we can match it up to this here. And PN, poor, poor Nicola. Okay, so obviously. So if we look at, let's see, for instance, this here. Um, that's an L, I think. Either way, KA to PN. This is apparently the container that had the virus, perhaps, when it was shipped over to Port Nicola. So we have KA to PN, and that's the unique ID. Um, so technically speaking, that came from where? KN. Uh, or KA, I should say. Um, Cajona. So from Cajona, it was shipped over to Port Nicola here. And it was shipped by, I think we saw... what. Is that an L? Yeah, yeah, the L. So it was shipped from Cajona to Port Nicola by the International Express Logistics. Let's go check out the beach. Um, where, where the hell is my freaking course? There's so many things on my, my, my freaking item bar now. Uh, let's see. We have the sailboat marina and the beach. Let's go to the beach first. It's been on our to-do for a bit now. So this is allegedly where Sketchy Ricardo would broad Trisha to break up with them but he spent a lot of time here as well so does that say groin no don't expect your groin dog what are you doing the city looks kind of pretty from a distance well it's a fairly pretty town even when you're up close hello one's over there working on a story that's going to blow this whole conspiracy wide open whatever this whole conspiracy actually is Viruses and killing humanity. I think they put the groin in to stop the whole beach washing away. But what stops the groin washing away? Who groins the groins? <laughs> giggity giggity. <laughs> groin. <laughs> Harper. Harper. Apparently, if you're wondering who wrote the story to this game, it is I. Guilty as charged. <laughs> what could I say? Um. All right. So what else have we got here? Ocean, island, and paddles okay but there's probably more oh yes there is okay door lock let's check out the ocean here first I gotta admit Yelltown didn't have a view like this I could get used to looking out over the big blue there it is the island Amber Smith wrote about in her diary Ooh. and we got paddles Oh, we are so paddling over there at some point. Oh, we're so going there at some point. Okay. Wouldn't want to be up a creek without these babies. And don't mind me. I'm just stealing them. Not like anybody's going to miss them. I'll bet a kindly soul has left a jet ski inside this shack to help out a traveler in need. Huh. It's locked. That's to be expected. It's locked with a rusty old chain, and my jet ski is trapped inside. Probably. I'll bet a kindly soul has left. Huh. It's locked with a rust and my jet ski. Okay. Um, do we have anything here that could probably remove rusty old chain? Uh. <laughs> doubtful. Just file the way through. I'll be done in a couple of years. I'd rather not. Yeah, I figured as much. I don't think any of these will really work, but um, you never know. A, a wrench for a, a chain. Yeah, that's that's exactly how that works. Pincers. Yeah, I don't think anything over here is going to really work. Bottle opener. Hey, why not? I can't do that. And finally, let's try the knife just to get out of the system here. Can I give this lock the once over? Make sure it's still working. Well, would you look at <gasps> that? Darn thing rusted away. Ah. Oh. 
a dinghy. I wanted a jet ski. Dude, I'm glad I kept on going. I didn't think I was going to work. I guess he literally put the blade into the lock and... Nothing much in here. Just a bunch of old nets. Oh, you know what, though? Uh, the pump. I don't think those things play nice together. Oh, but it says inflatable dinghy, and you got yourself a pump. Is it punctured? I don't think I can patch that. Ah, jeez. This thing smells worse than that rubber suit. Oh, maybe we had to collect it first. They got a cute little lighthouse there. Okay, so now that we have this... Ugh, rubber. Can we patch it? I don't think I can patch that. Nope. I should put the dinghy somewhere before I inflate it. Oh. Like in the ocean or the groin? Oh. Do your thing, bicycle pump. God damn it. There must be a puncture in the dinghy. Oh, we got that under control, dog. Huh. There's a puncture, all right. Let's get this fixed up. Done. I just hope it's seaworthy. <laughs> okay, so we got that, now we... Okie dokie, let's give this a try. Nice work, Bicycle Pump. Boils, I think we're ready to set sail, are we? I mean, do we just go? Do we alert somebody? We got paddles, we got a inflatable dingy. All aboard! Oh, we are going. I thought we were going to alert somebody, though. Ooh. This is kind of like a really cool-looking, um... Like, island facility here. Has an abandoned look because everything's kind of like overgrown. This is like awesome. This reminds me of... Um, there is like a facility... What game is it in, um... Oh, it's in Final Fantasy VIII, I believe, right? There's like this facility like way off lost somewhere in the world map. Which is where you get like the strongest like... Guardian summon or whatever the hell they're called. Adelons? No, I don't even call it. Guardian Force. I forgot what they're called. I think they're Guardian Force in Final Fantasy VIII. But it's where you get the strongest one, which is, I believe, Eden. For some reason, this reminds me of, um, the facility in Final Fantasy VIII. Nostalgia, what can I say? Just in case any of those cult dudes are still hanging around. Oh, cool. We'll smack them over the head with a stone. How about that? Aquila. I've come to the right place. Yeah, I hope. Alright, so we have door and building. It doesn't look like there's anybody here. The whole place feels abandoned. Which is what makes it awesome. Let's go to this door. What are the chances pops open, you're asking? I would say probably zero to um, nil. It won't open. Gee, imagine that. So, how, how do I... uh? Yeah, I don't think this is going to work again, is it? It's a little more secure than that shack was. I can't see a keyhole or anything. Yep. Don't think that was going to work, but I had to give it a try. Give it the old college try. I don't think we have anything here that could um really help us out. Uh, it's locked tight. Yep, figured as much. So we're here, which is great, but now we got to figure out how to infiltrate this facility. Self-Actualization and Spiritual Research Center. My BS detector is going nuts. Mm-hmm. Well, at least we're here. What if we probably got to inform Hellowell, the doctor, somebody? But at least we're here. So you know what? I No, no, don't even start. Don't even start. It's not a cliffhanger. This is not a cliffhanger. This is only a, uh, uh, a jump off to the next part of our story here. It's not a cliffhanger. Okay, we got here. I couldn't enter it. It's not like I was just kind of like, well, I'm going to walk in here, but instead of doing that, I'm going to end the video here. I can't figure out how to do it. We're, we're out of time, you know? It's not a cliffhanger. Not a cliffhanger. Stop it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Look out for the next episode. I will catch you next time.